Tonight, breaking news and a story that you, the viewer, have demanded we cover flooding our Twitter and Facebook, and we're doing it. World outrage escalating as we get the gut-wrenching news just now that yet another dolphin hunt has just begun in Taiji, Japan. That is horrifying and barbaric. The water is still blood red from the slaughter that just ended hours ago. In a second, a live report from the infamous cove in Taiji, Japan, where animal activists are risking their lives to tell the world what they're seeing and what you can do to stop it. Japanese divers wrestle with bottlenose dolphins, selecting some to be sold into captivity, others to be killed for meat. I'm kind of shocked that it's still going on, especially after uh, The Cove and this film Blackfish that just came out. And as long as people keep buying tickets to dolphin shows, this is going to keep happening. So you have the power to stop this. Look at these mammals <sighs> twitching there in death. The world first learned of the slaughter thanks to the Academy Award winner, The Cove, a searing movie about the slaughter of the dolphins in Taiji, Japan. Pods pillaged to supply dolphin hostages to theme parks and aquariums around the world. Now, almost four years later, the world has risen up in outrage as live feeds of the slaughter in progress are broadcast by the animal activist group Sea Shepherd. Tonight, the death toll is in from Sea Shepherd. At least 41 dolphins slaughtered. 52 kidnapped into captivity to be sold to the highest bidder. But more hunting is underway among the captives. This angelic albino ripped from her mother, who reportedly committed suicide as her calf was taken away, the mother never resurfacing. Uh, we're going to show you Angel. She's an albino dolphin. You'll see her there in the midst. Uh, there she is, the beautiful white albino dolphin. She could be sold for, some say, half a million dollars. Tonight, from the Cove in Taiji, Japan, Sea Shepherds, Melissa Seagal reporting live. You are there at the Cove. You've witnessed the atrocities of a few hours ago. What's the latest about this new hunt that we're hearing is going on? Hi, Jane. Well, most people are, are thinking that the slaughter has ended. Uh, we still have six weeks of the killing season left. This goes on for the months of September through March. The killing boats have gone out to, to sea now and are currently hunting for more dolphins and whales at this time. I see these animals just twitching, twitching in terror on these boats. Uh, I can't even imagine. This is hellish. And we've got to tell you, thanks to films like The Co from Lionsgate, the world is galvanizing behind the issue of animal rights. And I want to go to um, the increasing prominence of serious animal-themed films like The Cove and Blackfish. And I'd also like to introduce you to a groundbreaking new news organization called the Dodo.com. And we do have a web role for you. It is staffed by a team of top-flight journalists and backed by people associated with the Huffington Post and BuzzFeed. The Dodo.com focuses on animals and animal rights controversies. Their top story tonight is the slaughter in the cove. Uh, straight out to Kerry Lerman, the Dodo.com's editor-in-chief. Uh, what is your breaking news story tonight, Kerry? Well, you've, you've, you've scooped us to a certain extent. It is that the dolphin hunters have gone back out to try to round up more dolphins um, into the Taiji Cove um, after just finishing the last slaughter this morning, in the early mornings of hours of this, this morning. I got to tell you something. Your new website, the dodo.com, is along with Blackfish and the Cove and this global outrage marking a turning point in animal rights. We have crossed the tipping point. It's now mainstream. I predict it will become the social justice movement of the 21st century. You are right here as it is beginning and hitting the mainstream. This is a start. And on the other side, we're going to talk about what we, as a community of animal lovers, can do to stop this obscenity. By the time they get to the lagoon, they are totally freaked out, stressed out to the max. That was The Cove. The Oscar winner, now in a bold move, the U.S. ambassador to Japan, Caroline Kennedy, has tweeted her opposition to the hunt. John Lennon's widow, Yoko Ono, who is Japanese, has urged the fishermen of Taiji to stop what she calls the celebration of killing or risk the children of the world hating Japan. Virgin airline mogul Richard Branson tweeting out against the hunt. Um, 
There are dozens of petitions. Rick O'Berry of the Dolphin Project. Is the Japanese government hearing this? Yes, they are. Uh, in the last uh, several days now, this is getting worldwide attention, and we have some momentum here. We have a chance to stop this. Well, that's what I want to know. What can we do? And I want to go back to Kerry Lerman, editor-in-chief of the Dodo. I mean, you have a groundbreaking new news organization devoted to animal issues. Um, how does the world coalesce to stand up and say, enough? Well, one of the biggest things that they can do is happening right now. The, the sort of surge of social media attention around this issue has really been amazing and groundbreaking. Um, starting from Friday when this particular hunt began through Sunday, there was almost a media uh, blackout here. There was very little coverage. CNN and HLN did um, a fair amount of coverage. The Dodo did a lot of coverage. But it was um, surprisingly little coverage in the mainstream newspapers that changed that started to begin to change mid-Sunday, um, and um, particularly today after Kennedy's announcement. I want to say I applaud you, the dodo.com. Join. Let's be part of this community that can change the world. Then the mainstream media will follow CNN and HLN. If you're outraged about the dolphin hunt, Join C. Shepard. Go to this new news organization, thedodo.com. They have everything you can do to stop Taiji's dolphin hunt. Where to write to the Japanese embassy? Together we can change it.